Queen, or King, or whatever you want to say. We're back in our let's uh, episode where we have just started our first colonization efforts to go take over China. So, um, basically the plan is this. I'm going to use these two armies right here to defend my land, and I'm going to use my backwards Canadian army to go conquer land. That's basically how the system's going to work. And if anything goes wrong, well, we're basically, yep, well, you guys, great alliance I just started. Yep. Okay, so basically this is just going to be us kicking the butt out of all the Chinese. I mean, the Chinese really think that they'll have a good army. They really don't. I mean, watch this. The Manchu definitely should not be anywhere near our level. So let me just test this out. I'm going to test out our fleet. Holy shoot, this is going to be a slaughter. <laughs> um, like, legitly, there is... Oh, shoot. But now we got the Chinese starting to move in. That isn't exactly what I wanted. Yep. The Battle of Qindong just won, like, by a lot. You know, actually, I should have probably done a choke point right back here in terms of militaristically. And the Chinese are starting to move in their army. They haven't even fully deployed yet, which isn't a good sign. They definitely feel cocky, that's for sure. Um, Mexico now severely likes us, so maybe we could get that alliance back? No, they... Too many alliances. I don't even have an alliance! Why does it say too many alliance when I don't even have an alliance? Neither does Mexico. Mexico does not have an alliance. It has one alliance. Oh. Another problem with this game I have. Is the alliance system makes no sense. Like, no. It makes no sense. You, you can never convince me it makes any sense. So I'm going to wait. Yeah, it's going to take a really long time before these guys arrive. But once they do, it, these guys are dead. Like, once we have these guys over here, these guys are dead. So we're just basically just going to do a very, very defensive war. So I'm going to turn down the money and actually we probably should mm, should we mobilize yeah we should because it's probably gonna take all of my effort of everything to beat these Chinese or beat these Chinese guys because as I may be better than them in terms of militaristically but they still they still have a very huge army and it, this is one of those questions of does huge army beat okay I'm gonna move right there to stop him from moving. Okay, good. The Manchu have stopped moving. Okay, now I'm gonna go charge him. Okay. They're definitely feeling cocky that they'll win. Okay. My soldiers are getting a little bit sad faced, if you must know. I'm keeping them kinda back here because we don't really need to do anything. And um Japan, I'm really sad you guys did not join me, because I was I was really counting on you. Like Okay, current wars. Yeah, well, you guys wouldn't really join me anyways, just because of mainly base, base reluctance, which does not make any sense. That, uh, Okay. Just, just a lot of things, everyone. Just a lot of things. So, six. Okay, so this should be the last soldier. Once that cannon finally arrives, I'm going to go use all these guys to go, like, attack and destroy this entire province. Because we do have a ticking war score. Let's see. A ticking war score is... 690 days. We should have a good enough time to do that. And, oh, come on. I went to war against every single one of them? What the heck? I think this is going to be a slaughter. But, as you can see, I can still beat their entire army with almost effortlessly. So... It's a good thing I deployed. That's the only thing that's really good is that I did. Is I deployed right before this happened. So, you know, that will be good. And I'm almost, wow, I've almost actually won what I need to do. Um, actually, it might just be good if we just keep, um, nailing them. Instead of, like, instead of trying to, like, actually win this by... Legitly, we should just try to like win as many battles as we can because we're civilized and they're uncivilized. Okay, here comes another battle. We're having some occupation, which is good. So we want to do. Okay, they're gonna try to go around. I can only see what they're gonna try to do. Um, do we have our army finally all there? So we need to start. We need to have these guys already. No, we still got this one little. Uh, come on, get over the mighty Rocky Mountains. <laughs> Rocky Mountains. I, I could just imagine Rocky Balboa just standing there with his boxing gloves like, Hey, you wanna... Hey, you know, I got a, I got a lisp here. You, you guys aren't getting over the mountain. 
I'm, you're gonna have to fight me first. You know, or something stupid like that. I could see that just happening. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is wait for them to kind of move away. And then I'm gonna go hit them. Um, they do have a river advantage, which is not necessarily good. You know what I'm gonna do? Actually, let's go kill these guys right here. Go defeat the rest of these guys. Have those guys move in right there. And then... So let's do this. Kill the rest of these units. Okay. So we kill the rest of these units. It's so sad. Wait one second. Okay, now they're moving a lot of troops. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move in this army right here. And then once these guys are done, we're gonna move in the rest of our army. Mechanized infantry. Okay, there we go. 2.5. Okay, now we move in right there. Both these armies, 44 men, should be enough to take out whatever... Chinese army is right there. Okay, please make sure you guys get there before. Dang it, they conquer back the territory so quickly. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, now this is an even battle, apparently. 46 men versus... Okay, this is gonna be a really big killer, even if I lose this. But, if we win that... I guarantee if we win that battle, they'll basically send their army in a shock, and we will beat this. So, have we finally... Oh, my goodness. You guys are slow. Like, just slow. Okay, we need you guys to come. Uh, this is basically all of our army, so if this fails... Okay, finally! Get in the boat. Oh, you guys didn't even have enough room. That, that makes me feel happy. Okay, quickly, guys, rush! Rush to this battle! And actually, we're winning this battle. Never mind, we're, we're severely kicking the Chinese butt. Like, severely kicking the butt. Yeah, we're kicking the butt, like, severely. This should be... This battle right here should drive us over the edge, I mean, that should definitely drive us to the point of winning, killing a hundred soldiers and only losing, oh my, okay, I want to see the, oh my goodness, I want to see the end stats of this battle, because this is going to be terrible for them, like, just terrible, okay, let's see, oh my goodness, okay, do you guys want to defeat, do you guys want to admit defeat? I just, like, slaughtered, like, a lot of your men, like, severely. They would not accept this offer. Apparently, they still think that they can win this. Um, okay. And I have a couple of these armies, like, starting to, like, gather up here. We're going to move our army back so we can start healing a little bit. Crush, I guess, crush a couple of these armies in the process. Um, we have a second wave of men coming up from here, and they'll probably start a conquest. Ah, uh, dang, they took off one territory, that means they're probably gonna have some... No, nope, they're still losing by a lot. <laughs> like, the, the, this this is not gonna go well for them. This is just gonna go really bad. And the French obviously lost. I didn't see... It's not like I didn't see that one coming. And they're starting to overwhelm my forces just a little bit, but I have my second army moving in, which actually I'll just deploy it right there since it did move upwards. And I'm gonna move up all my deployed Canadian forces, which I just realized I'm starting to go in a little bit of a debt. That isn't good, but I think this this war will pay for itself once we're done with it. So I need to move all my army to the coastline. That way it will start doing stuff like capturing. Okay. So now let's do this. Okay. Excellent. Okay. And we got our armies moving in instantly. Gonna move this army right down here. Okay. And we got a good clumping of men right here. And now they're really starting to swarm in. I did not pay attention, and apparently one of our factories collapsed. That's good. That's always good. Um, actually, we do need to support this factory. I know that's probably going to get me bankrupt, but we always need to expand small militaristic factories. So, we got all these little men trying to, like, move into our territory. Um, do we have our ships? Yes, we do have our ships. They're going to move in right there. going to smack... Oh, that's going to be perfect. They're going to smack the enemy right in the face. Okay. Gonna smack the enemy right in the face. Oh man, this... Okay, this is... Okay, so we got this. So, let me just... Wait one second. There we go. Okay. Move in this army. They're obviously trying to recover covered damage. Now we have three armies over here, which means we do have a good numerical advantage. I'm gonna start moving my army back a little bit. Hopefully we got some more Canadian soldiers moving in. Yeah, they're, they're, everyone's attempting the, the long march of shame right now. So that should be good. But looks like we're doing pretty good in terms of winning, which is good. Um, we have also a lumber mill that closed down. That isn't good. 
we want to make sure our economy may be somewhat faulty, but it's still going to work. Japan's still not wanting to formalize with us. That's good. But it seems like, wow, it seems like we're beating these guys by a lot. Like, legitly a lot. They still aren't entirely sure that they don't want to give up to my mighty Canadian powers. Um, we basically got our entire position defended. Okay. Will you guys accept? Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, what? Oh, yes! Yes! Is this, is this gonna happen? <laughs> oh, we actually didn't gain that much dirt. We actually didn't gain that much population from that, but... Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, we just took a good chunk of China from them. In fact, we probably could have taken much more from this. In fact, you know, it kind of makes me sad, because now I feel like we could have taken so much more. Um... Could we have supported the infamy though? No, so I guess this was a good move on our parts. We have taken our first piece of China, everyone! Yes! And do I say, um, we should actually go way up in terms of military. Oh, wait. Let's de demobilize. Go this, go that. Okay. Um, we should actually go way up in terms of money because, um, the Chinese. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yes! Yes, okay, we got more machine guns. We got more of this. Oh my goodness, we got more of that. And we have three armies of mass destruction over here in China. So, if we wanted to, we have a very good Chinese system. So, um, I I think this was an episode. I'm not entirely sure. This might have been a very quick Chinese con congregation. But, um, when can we go to war against them again? 1886. So, we have six years before we go to war with China. But, oh my goodness, that should be enough. Because by then, my infamy should be like decreased by a good amount so that way we can take like an entire coastline if we want to so um i want to thank you guys for watching this episode it was awesome um i'm shocked that we actually did this and i'm shocked that flabbergasted i guess is a better word to say and um our canadian empire is coming true so thank you guys for watching i will, I will see you guys next time